Murrayfield, the venue for this relocated Six Nations fixture. 12 of the Scotland starting 15 play their club rugby in England. Five play for Darlington Moden Park Sharks in the Tyrrells. Former Scotland hockey rep Rachel Malcolm captains the side at blindside flanker. Her back row teammate Jade Conkle was the leading ball carrier in the opening round of the Six Nations. She'll provide their go forward today. In the backs, look out for fullback Chloe Rolly. She's the top try scorer in the Tyrrells. Lisa Thompson is a robust centre. She'll look to get over the gain line in midfield. Simon Middleton has made five changes to the side that pulled off that big win in France last weekend. A few issues at scrum time, so it's an all-new starting front row of Vicky Cornbra, Lark Davis and Sarah Byrne. Sarah Hunter is, of course, the captain. She wins her 121st cap. Zoe Harrison shifts the fly half. Amber Reid plays 12 after impressing off the bench last week. Her combination with World Rugby Player of the Year, Emily Scarrett, will be worth watching. Emily Scott gets a start at fullback. Vast experience on the England bench, of course, not least the lady who lifted the Rugby World Cup in 2014, Katie Daly McLean, who will no doubt get some gay ta game time later on in this fixture. Your referee for this one, Clara Munarini from Italy. She's assisted by Aurelie Grazzolo from France, as is Dorian Zomeno. <laughs> Worth waiting for, a match between England and Scotland at Murrayfield, the Red Roses. Grand Slam Six Nations champions looking to go two from two after their win against France in Poe last weekend. Scotland, big underdogs here, conceded 80 points against England in the corresponding fixture last year. 21 test matches without a win against England. And here going to work early is Lisa Thompson, but that's a big tackle coming in from Amber Reid and injured in back play for Scotland is Rachel McLaughlin. Penalty England early, but McLaughlin does not look well. Trainers are out onto the field and we'll have a pause in play here. What a hit from Amber Reid. She's uh, making her impact known straight away and that's what she offers. She's not just a distributing centre. She's just hard hitting as well and just so, so strong. Yeah, she really did impress off the bench last week gave the assist pass to emily scarrett didn't she but what was effectively the winning try against france they haven't played a lot of rugby together recently amber reed and, and emily scarrett but they're a they're a tried and tested combination in the centers aren't they yeah definitely tried and tested and they uh, they just work i think they play off each other very well uh, both great distribution skills and they're just both really calm heads actually as well so it looks a really good tackle in there, but obviously something's gone, gone wrong. And Rachel McLaughlin getting some attention on the right thigh, it looks like. It was the tackle from Vicky Fleetwood, another player that really impressed last week. Of course, Marley Packer out for the duration of the Six Nations. So Vicky Fleetwood, so versatile, she can play in the front row as well. Playing open side today. And there's Abby Dow, try to score it. Hopefully the injury is just something like a dead leg then if it's the quad rather than a knee twist or anything. Because it didn't look anything in it, did it? It just must be a bit of a knock in there. So McLaughlin will resume her. Plays in the line out here. Zoe Harrison kicks the touch in a first throw to the line out for Lark Davis. Gets the starting number two shirt. The head of Amy Kane is on the bench for this one. And they throw to Zoe Aldcroft at the back. And the line-out was a real key set piece for England against France last week. And here's the, the drive off the back. Such an effective part of this Red Roses game. And Davis offloads to Natasha Hunt and Emily Scarrett with an early carry. Hunt goes the same way. It's a poppy That's clear. Early attack here from England. Harrison offloads to Jess Breach. 
The captain, Sarah Hunter, quick hands to Poppy Cleal, reaches out. Just short, says the referee. England looking for their first score. Natasha Hunt, all eyes to Sarah Byrne. Five tries in the Six Nations last year. She feels like she's over the line, and the try is awarded. So within three minutes, England get their first score. And it's Sarah Byrne who just loves scoring tries in the Six Nations. Yeah, you know, we've seen her make line-breaking ones and, and uh, tries like that, but that one, good old-fashioned prop try, short out, but uh, she's so difficult to stop because she's so strong up her body, and uh, Scotland defence just went way too high. I mean, there was enough bodies there trying to defend her, but uh, they've just got to go lower. So you can see upright, it's um, Lisa Thompson hits, but just too high, gets bounced back off it. Her 11th test try, Sarah Byrne, in a 33rd test match. Not a bad return for a tight head prop. <laughs> Only Jess Breach scored more tries in the Six Nations than her last year, and she's on the board this campaign. Emily Scarrett with the conversion attempt, and it is successful. So that is her. 528th point in Test Rugby. That's pretty, right. pretty impressive stats there as well as far as stats go. It's a good leg drive, isn't it? Because she does get hit quite high and then she just manages to keep driving with the legs and just pull her body weight down to drive over to the line. So Scotland had a slow start against Ireland last week but really did come back well in that game and could have nicked it late just couldn't finish the job and they're going to have to come back here early against england as well as lark davis carries the ball for england pass back to zoe harrison she kicks to the far side and it's well taken over there on the the left wing by evie tonkin another darlington moden park sharks player in the scotland side five of them in the starting 15. Thank you. McDonald at scrum half. Yelling at a fellow forwards, at a fellow teammates, telling him to get in position. Jade Conkle. From the Harlequins Club in London, leading ball carrier on the opening weekend of the Six Nations. Here's Thompson. Tries to get away from Amber Reed. Reed now goes in for the steal. Scotland maintain possession. Ball comes loose though out of the breakdown and reacting quickly was Aldcroft and the lovely little banana kick off the side of the boot from Natasha Hunt. Jess Breach flings it in field. That was a clever little kick from Natasha Hunt. Improvising off the base of the scrum as Conkle has another carry and Scotland get the penalty. England not rolling away. Both teams playing with real energy there though. I like that. You know, you get the turnover. Natasha Hunt's a very clever player. She knows it because they've just turned it over. The wings aren't going to be in position for the counter-attack, so pushes it in. And then great reactions there from Olcroft to dive onto that ball, just really good. And then, yeah, really clever nudge there. It was Poppy Cleal as well, wasn't it, at the breakdown that, that forced the error from Scotland. So the two second rowers working in tandem there. Abby Scott, of course, unavailable at the moment. England for England Thank you. but they've got so much depth in most positions and Poppy Cleal of course used to playing on the side of the scrum or at number eight doing a fine job for England in the second row Lana Skeldon throws the line out that ball's gone forward and England will have possession here so turnover at the set piece from Scotland there's Vicky Fleetwood running into contact Natasha Hunt to Harrison. Flat pass off the hands of Thompson. An opportunity over on the far side for the, the Wasp. Abby Dow. Chance to stretch her legs again. Back, back. Try scorer last week. Here's Sarah Hunter. Harrison again. Scotland offside. England with the advantage. Harrison again. Scarrett. Sarah Beckett now to 
Jess Breach gets the handoff, going inside Balter. Vicky Fleetwood, they're almost there again, England. Great support play from the open side flanker. Number nine. England looking for their second try. <laughs> Natasha Hunt looking for quick ball. No advantage, come back. Number nine. Exciting edge-to-edge -edge stuff there, wasn't it? So from one wing right across to the other one. And what's really important Nine. is that support play. They're not just getting it wide and being complacent and thinking that Jess Breach is going to gas it. Great line back inside, Nine. excellent offload. And I think those kind of, uh, that's the want that they, they're, they're really showing. England looking to play pretty flat, aren't they, as well? There was almost an intercept on the far side there. But uh, they didn't let them phase it. They didn't get phased by it. They just... Uh, went through the hands great stuff loose line out throw from Lark Davis so England's line out just creaking a little difficult conditions here it looks pretty calm at the moment but it is gusty still what is not that? quite the the extreme weather we experienced yesterday of course that's why we're here in Edinburgh for this relocated fixture after the Scottish Rugby Union postponed the match to be played at Scotson Stadium Murrayfield the new venue it's like Davis offloads the ball in contact to Amber Reed stop, stop. Sarah Byrne again just steps off the right foot and bursts through the Scotland defense Sarah Byrne used to seeing that kind of ball carrying aren't we from Byrne and the Six Nations England still in possession. Natasha Hunt working the short side. It's Zoe Harrison. Katie Daly McLean on the bench for this one. Good counter up from Scotland, but England get the penalty. Yeah, I think um, she was legal to, to go across, but she just came off her feet, uh, I think was the problem with that. But, you know, we speak about the players being aggressive, Cleo, but Conkel as well, just as aggressive and dynamic. Really good opportunity, this isn't it, for Zoe Harrison at fly half in the Six Nations. Uh, played 12 last week you get the feeling that Sam Middleton the head coach isn't entirely sure about his fly half depth at the moment if something would happen to Daly, Katie Daly McLean he needs back up there so big chance for Zoe Harrison today yeah big chance uh, under testing conditions um, to really step up and show what she's got because yeah you never um, you never know injuries whatever might happen and then um, he's got to have that back up looking forward to the World Cup Amber Reid another player that can can play at fly half for England if need be. And Emily Scott, like we've seen her there before and she's nice and relaxed. So I think they've got options there, but as a valid one that they've got as their second choice uh, behind Katie Daly McLean, I think they need to fine tune that and give the, those players opportunity, which is great to yeah. see Zoe Harrison there today yeah, getting a shot. Okay, okay. Once the sacks fail, they can't keep holding our legs. Okay. It's been a lovely start from Sarah Byrne, hasn't it? Oh, fantastic. I mean, this is what we see her doing, just bounces. There's no way anyone's getting that ball off her and just drives, leg drive to floor. Really important, though, she rolls back to make that ball nice and quick uh, so they can play away with it. And that, that's uh, the important part of it. She doesn't just land there, does more work on the floor. Shot to start him at the Rugby World Cup 2017. Player of the tournament in the Six Nations last year. You get the feeling behind the scenes she would have been a little bit unhappy about not starting against France last week. She looks like she's got a point to prove here. Yeah, she's come out with that attitude, hasn't she? She's uh, yeah, definitely wanting to start and then making it her impact known immediately. But just such a, she's so difficult to tackle. Uh, what you want from your players, isn't it? To put pressure on each other, compete for places, push each other. Oh, that's the only way the team can get better if you've got players within that can kind of really drive each other forward and make the team better. So here's an area that was a bit of concern for England against France last week. Conceded multiple penalties at scrum time. All new front row here, and they put the power on against Scotland. Jay Congle has to react quickly, and she somehow gets the ball away from the set piece. Scotland getting out of jail here. Here's the hooker, Lana Skeldon. So need to find an exit here. Mary McDonald at scrum half. Looks for a ball carrier, finds one. And under pressure again, she'll kick from the base. That ball goes high, it's not gonna go out. Natasha Hunts underneath it. Sarah Hunter. Looks for the offload, wisely held on is Harrison. She can't 
keep the handle either. That's gone forward. So just a couple of moments from England, not quite on point. I think that's one of those classic moments where you're looking out and you're seeing, oh, fantastic, got the back line all on their feet. Uh, I'm going to get this out. And Natasha has got good speed of ball. And, yeah, she's just taken her eye off it for a second. I imagine that's a short pop in there to uh, Emily Scowett, expecting a line break. But just one of those basic things. And uh, it's really nice that you've got Amber Reid going straight over there to be like, look, head up. And th that's the experience you kind of need, giving the support uh, in those areas there. Much better scrum, isn't it, from last week. And Jade, as you said, Jade Conkle done really well there to get that out as quickly as she did. Yeah, they've had a lot of time to kill, haven't they? Both these teams with this relocated fixture. A lot of time to think about this game. England actually travelled on Thursday last week. Here, here we are on Monday, finally playing this fixture so maybe too much time to think for some of these players thinking in your head going through the visuals about about how you're going to execute the game plan yeah i think that i mean sometimes you can have meetings for the sake of meetings just to fill time um and actually you can just yeah you can overgo things and you can think about it far too much with analysis whereas actually once you're on that pitch you just need to kind of play but i don't think hopefully for england's sake we won't see many uh, errors like that but i just think that's one of those yeah thinking ahead before the actual skills uh, happened I saw Casey Daly McLean yeah, at the uh, yeah. the team hotel in Glasgow yesterday. She says she's been to every coffee shop in Glasgow <laughs> trying to kill time. <laughs> yeah, so they're overly caffeinated, <laughs> maybe. Okay. So Scotland have a feet of the scrum just outside their own 22. Pretty much the whole game's been played in the Scotland half so far. One try so far to Sarah Byrne, converted by Emily Scarrett. Power comes on again from England and Scotland need to do something here, try and sort this situation out because you get the feeling penalties are going to start coming. Yeah, I think that was one that actually they're popping up slightly, so that's one where they could um, maybe look for the penalty, but uh, yeah, they'll, they'll have time now hopefully to have a little word and fix it. Apologise for any uh, Crouch. indifferent language you might have picked up on the referee's mic there. Bind. Scotland here trying to hang tough against England. Keep that one steady, that's better. And Conkle carries the ball into the tackle of Zoe Harrison. Fine carry that from the Scotland number eight. Here's another one from Sarah Bonner. Plays her rugby for the Loughborough Lightning. Kick to Emily Scott. Attacking opportunity for her. Jess Breach. Amber Reed gives it back to, to Breach. Fine tackle there from Lisa Thompson. Here's Aldcroft for England. Reed at first receiver to Sarah Hunter towards the halfway line here's Harrison again she'll look to kick high and deep into the Scotland 22 fielded by Chloe Rolly the leading try scorer in the Tyrrells Premier 15s and she looks to put the accelerator down but she's marshalled over the sideline it'll be an England lineup yeah, if there's one player you don't want to kick to uh, in space, it's Chloe Rowley. I mean, she just is so quick, so balanced, great footwork. The England defence have done well to put her into touch there, but she's a yeah, dangerous and exciting runner to watch. So Abby Dow was calling for it. I think she wanted it a little bit shorter, but there she's just tried to go around Abby Dow. Abby Dow does enough to slow her down, and then a great cover tackle from Fleeto. Oh, she's got my, uh, got my try scoring stats mixed up. Rona Lloyd's the leading try scorer in the in the Tyrrells, but Chloe Rowley is a, a dangerous runner from fullback. One out so far. There you go. Two losses for England, but they managed to execute that one well. Amber Reed up over the 10 metre line. Long pass out to Harrison, wide out of the breakdown area. Emily Scarrett marshalling players over to the short side here. Here's Poppy Cleal offloads to Aldcroft. She looks to give the ball back to Cleal. The two second rows again working well together. Sarah Hunter, quick hands to Davis. Hunt 
switches the direction. Allcroft again. It's been a lively start from Zoe Allcroft. Well, the story that her boyfriend drove six hours from Gloucester up to Glasgow yesterday to watch her play. Of course, the match was postponed, but he's, he's made another drive to Edinburgh to watch her play here today. And here's Abby Dow getting away from the defensive effort of Chloe Rolly there as the rain comes down here at Murrayfield. England leading 7-0, 15 minutes in. Here's Zoe Harrison. Aldcroft again with another carry. Burst through one tackle, good momentum here again for England, but Zoe Harrison, not for the first time, drops it cold and a chance for Scotland to counter. Really difficult conditions out there, but Zoe Harrison coming up with a couple of errors. She won't be happy with that. We'll go back for the knock-on infringement. And is that a case of the occasion just being a bit too much? But this is exactly the kind of thing she has to be exposed to. I mean, you'd much rather her be doing this now and then actually have chance to um, grow uh, into that role um, than doing it in a really important kind of World Cup match. So, yeah, again, she's scanned. She's looking for uh, Amber Reid, isn't she? And then just that ball goes down. So she's, uh, again, I think needs to have have her players around her, lift her, I think, talk to her. Um, not too much pressure on her. Lana Skeldon getting uh, attention in back play. Well, that rain has turned into snow again. It was sunny about five minutes ago, and now back to uh, back to snow. The way it's tough conditions for the players. Are you okay? Are you okay? Yeah. Skeldon takes a place back in the huddle. Yeah, okay. I think I think it's okay, but I will. Yeah. Interesting little chat there from Natasha Hunt to the referee, just calmly explaining that she feels she's being blocked a little by her opposite number at scrum time. <laughs> uh, no, Natasha Hunt's good at that, isn't she? Just saying, no, do you know, do you notice this? Very polite, very calm, but uh, just have a look out for this one. Crouch. Part of the, part of the DNA of any self-respecting scrum half, uh, isn't it, to be able to yeah. talk to the referee in the right way? Set! Powerful scrum from England. Conkle again under pressure, but she does well. Natasha Hunt brings it to the floor, but England win the penalty. Sarah Hunter in like a flash to win the steal there. And that's what the England back row are so good at doing. I think they just get over the ball so quickly. They don't allow Scotland to have any time to clear out, and they're always going to, to a ref, look like that's going to be a holding on penalty. So you can see that it's a good pick there from Conkle off of the scrum, but Moj as well to chop her down. And then how quickly is Sarah Hunter over that ball? Just low down, body position, powerful, hands on it. Uh, it's either going to be a steal, a jackal, or it's the holding on penalty. So great work from Sarah Hunter there. Chloe Scarrett, World Rugby Player of the Year, of course. It's an extra three for England, and they're out to ten, almost a quarter of the way through. And I think that's a smart decision to go for posts. Um, it's showing that they're not going to be complacent and they don't think they can score from anywhere. And it's those practicing uh, tests kind of rugby going for the points. Snow is coming down pretty heavily now. Poppy Cleal accepts the restart. Tackle made by Rona Lloyd. Sarah Beckett played all 80 minutes against France last weekend. Really impressive performance from the blind side flanker. Harrison takes that one cleanly and kicks deep to Jade Conkle, but she's knocked it on. She had plenty of time. Jess Breach was on the chase. Yeah, she was in great positioning um, as well. She so dropped back ready. You often drop the eight back. So it's a, a nice kick from Harrison close to the touchline. And then, yeah, again, just kind of last minute kind of takes the eyes off it. But 
you know, playing in these conditions must be pretty difficult, but uh, I think, yeah, just honing in on those kind of, we spoke about it beforehand, just kind of the skill set in the conditions. Okay. Swirling wind here. Thank you. And product here is England, they've got another scrum. With the back line set wide. Crouch. Abby Dow always sets quite Five. flat on that uh, open side wing. Maybe she's looking for the cross Set. field, but with the uh, players inside a deeper. But she, yeah, she always sits there just trying to spot that. Reset. 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 Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, Abby Dow, 10 tries and 10 test matches. On the back, please. Oh, give your elbow. Trying to yeah, give yeah. her hands warm yeah. over on yeah. the far side yeah, over yeah, there. Thank you. Both. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's not winger weather, is it? Yeah, she's <laughs> you can see her over there. She's trying to keep her. <laughs> looks absolutely freezing, Abby oh. Dow. She's got the thermal on, but Fine. not enough in this uh, condition. You need to. It is frosty here at Murrayfield. Solid scrum for England. Harrison. Amber Reid runs into contact. Brought down by Sarah Law. Harrison will kick. Space in behind Chloe Rolly. That one will roll and roll into the their ball area. Come back for the 22. I think that's, uh, for me, I think a strange decision because I think that was on out wide. Um, the last defenders are, were quite tight in there for, for Scotland and actually they could probably look to get outside it. Um, I mean, kicking in, your, kicking in that area there, you're just giving away possession. Drop out into the breeze, bounces over the head of Jess Breach, Emily Scarrett now. She decides to chip over the top and a little bit of space. It sits up nicely for Scarrett. That was beautifully done. Here's Poppy Quill. Thundering. Up towards the 22, loose ball from Natasha Hunt. Was that a knock on? Yes, it was. Good counter ruck. I think it was Emma Wassell doing good stuff for Scotland there. So really nice, clever play from that. So it goes over the head of Breach, and then back there is Emily Scarrett. Nice, calm, collected. She doesn't panic with the bounce. And then the first thing she does, she scans across, gets that ball to Poppy Cleal. Fantastic tackle in on there as well for Poppy, uh, on Poppy Cleal. Nice counter right there, I thought, actually, as well, from McDonald's. Set, set, <laughs> push uh, Scarrett out the way, yeah. Now they're coming on at the scrum again from England. Front row standing up. Conkle, though, not for the first time. Finds a way out of that messy set piece. There's Lana Skeldon again, the hooker. To come the same way down the short side. Clutch on the take from Helen Nelson. She does well in the end. Here's Conkle once more. Runs into a Harlequin's teammate, Vicky Cornbra. Vicky Cornbra really did make a vital impact off the bench for the Red Roses against France last week. So really sits steady the scrum and unsteady. Under the high ball there is Jess Breach. So errors creeping in from England and Scotland gaining some confidence here. Yeah, Scotland has some good defensive efforts. That's a good chase on that as well um, from Lloyd. And then, uh, yeah, obviously forces that error. I think when someone uh, has a decent chase and they're flying up at you again, it's just that slight gap in concentration where then you make that kind of error. That is at the back Thank you. for Scotland. Sarah Law through the hands to Thompson. Inside ball to Rachel Malcolm, the Scotland captain. Holding on and finding the pass, Helen Nelson. Good passage of play this for Scotland, just trying to go through the phases, hold on to possession as Jade Conkle again runs into contact 
Sackle though from Poppy Cleal. Chip ahead from Nelson. And Emily Scott is forced to carry that over the sideline. So some good stuff here from the Scotland women. Bit Nelson. by bit getting into this contest. Yeah, Nelson in particular there was involved in a couple of key important passes, uh, a good carry, and then that, that's the kick that you want. You want to put into pressure situations. Is it going out? Is it not? Force Scott to carry it out. And Scott's a clever player, but uh, and then getting the possession of the line out here, and it's the first time really they've been uh, into the uh, England half. England, though. Has stolen possession at the line out. And Natasha Hunt will kick. Underneath it is Evie Tonkin. <laughs> Evie Tonkin, another Darlington Moden Park Sharks player. Ten of the Scotland starters play their rugby in the Tyrrells Premier 15s. Lose Putnas and it's Nelson who has it. She decides to kick high. Didn't quite go as far as she would have liked. A knock on the floor there from Emily Scott. A chance here for Scotland to counter. So Scotland enjoying some territory in England's half here, but unable to hold on to the pass was. Sarah Bonner, but we'll go back for the original infringement. It'll be a Scotland scrum. So still out of bounds then from the knock-on, so they still get the ball into this scrum. So just a bit of confusion there about whose ball it was. I think Natasha Hunt thought it was hers, Poppy Cleal thought it was hers, and they kind of bounced in between them, and then it was good reactions from Scotland to try and play it, um, play it quickly. But then, yeah, a, a knock-on into here, and again, good reactions there by Cornbra to kind of hold on to that ball, drive the floor. Yeah, tough conditions here today, but you get the feeling that Simon Middleton won't be overly impressed with some of the accuracy from the Red Roses so far. Yeah, I think the error count is much higher than uh, that he'd be expecting, I imagine, from them. Good scrum from Scotland, and they stack the short side here, but the pass goes over the shoulder. It's been hacked ahead by Thompson, and it's Poppy Cleal. So Scotland just guilty of giving away possession in a good attacking position but they've worked so hard to get. Davis shifts it across to Sarah Byrne, always breaks the first tackle and she's away again, the tight head. Almost trips over her own talent there, Sarah Byrne, but England still have possession. There's Harrison, Scarrett. She decides to kick. Abby Dow and Emily Scott on the chase. That just sits up and hacking the ball away is Helen Nelson, so. Works out well for England. Another opportunity there. They might have held on to possession, but good kick chase in the end. Yeah, I think it's a clever tactical kick, that one. Like, um, you know, you said about hacking it. Some people do. If you're just hacking it, it's not a good tactical decision. At best, it's going to be luck for a chase, but great line break from Byrne. Yeah, definitely trips over her own feet, uh, but does really well to do a roll to kind of keep that ball uh, alive. And then, yeah, Scarrett just pin into the corner, putting pressure on, and those are exactly the kicks you want. Slightly fortunate for Chloe Rolly there, wasn't it? Sarah Byrne lost her footing, but Scotland have a penalty here. England just putting themselves offside with the driving lineup. Yeah, and Sarah Hunter trying to find out exactly uh, what it is that the, the ref said. So it looks like a good line out. And then maybe they block in, not got, they've got, they're not transferred the ball back, maybe? Yes. It's tough call though. Bit of separation there, I suppose, is the is the call. Putting themselves offside. Chance for Scotland to clear their lines. The ball carrier. England yes. won the last 21 but, uh, test uh, matches. You change, uh, change the angle, Maybe and the ball Scotland. was uh, not uh, in the front. Met okay, thank times you. times previously. Just the two wins for Scotland. All time against England. Ball is available, thank you. It's well taken by Rachel Malcolm. Take back. And that's a better exit from Scotland, but that kick's gone right down the throat of Emily Scott. 
wiggles through the tackle of Lisa Thompson. Good quick hands again from Poppy Cleal. Little knock on. That's been spotted by the referee's assistant. We'll come back for a scrum. So another error. Um, they're just really racking up, aren't they? And it's kind of killing the momentum and the speed of the game. So good roll on the floor there from Scott. Again, buying time for support to get over. And then, uh, yeah, just one of those. Um, Tasha Hunt won't be too happy seeing that one back. I understand. I understand. My home is OK. Claudia McDonald is on the replacements bench for England today. Replacement scrum half. It's a big year for Scotland, isn't it, Kat? We're talking about it ahead of kickoff. We've got a Rugby World Cup qualifying tournament to look forward to in September. But you, you look at what we've seen so far from this team against England here today compared to what we saw from them in the Six Nations last year. They do look like a side on the improve. Yeah, I think their game management is something that they've really worked on and been coached on, and they, they seem to be able to play out the game um, a lot better, put pressure on, uh, their ball carrying as well. Um, Jade Conkle leads that right from eight, and uh, they're definitely an improving team, and I think the, the main thing for them is about belief and confidence and actually playing with their heads up rather than when they get scored against going, oh, here we go again, whereas actually is fighting against that, and uh, that's what they seem to be doing today, rolling the dice, having a go. Former Ireland women's coach Phil Doyle now in charge of Scotland. Remember, he was the man that coached Ireland to that famous win against the Black Ferns at the 2014 Rugby World Cup. The first time any Ireland team had beaten the New Zealand team in an international fixture. Works out pretty well for England that tournament in the end, didn't it, Cat? It did, yeah. Bill Doyle and Ireland will always have a special place in the hearts of the Red Roses, knocking out New Zealand in 2014. Natasha Hunt holds on to that one and gives it to Sarah Byrne for another carry. Emily Scarrett points to her captain Sarah Hunter and she obliges with the carry. Here's Sarah Byrne again at pace. So difficult to stop the England tight hit. Hunt again wriggles through a tackle. Hunter picks and goes. Up to the 22 now. Cleal. Big shift from her as well against France in the opening round. Harrison to Amber Reed. Scarrett cut out ball to Jess Breach and she heads towards the try line and she'll dive over. Jess Breach. The 21st try for England. Try for England. And you're not going to stop Jess Breach from there. What was key um, to getting the ball to her, though, was England were really deep. You could see they were set back. And, um, and then it's a hand, so it's quick ball from Natasha Hunt. Harrison has a look, moves it out, and it's pretty simple, but a really nice miss pass there. So misses Scott out, goes straight to Breach, in for the corner. And it's just nice hands, isn't it? They just make it look easy going across. If I'm being fussy, as I always am on wingers, ball in the wrong hand. Um, but, you know, get it in your left hand breach. Get your hand off out in case you need it. Harlequin's teammate, Clary Rolly there coming across. Couldn't stop breach getting over. So England have their second score. Scarrett, 100% so far off the tee. We'll look to add another two. Makes good contact, but it'll just slide by the left hand post. But England just showing to keep the ball in hand, use this incredible firepower they've got out wide. They're going to be in business more often than not. And I think just it's a simple thing done well. Play the conditions. Uh, there was nothing too flashy in that, apart from maybe the miss pass at the end. But actually just simple catch pass, ball out in front, and then pace onto that ball. It really is an extraordinary try scoring record. Just the 12th test match just breached, 21 tries. Crazy stats, amazing. Scored 11 in her first two. Sarah Byrne does well to kick the ball in field. Sarah Beckett. 
Clark Davis. Switch a play from Hunt to Burn again. Gets that leg drive going. Good tackle in the end, though, from Sarah Bonner. Hughes! Slow ball, though, here for England. So Natasha Hunt will kick. Brought down by Rolly. Good carry from the fullback. Play on, play on. Malcolm. That's good quick ball for Scotland, but Poppy Cleal reaches out with that big right hand and slaps it out of the hand of Murray McDonald, and England have the ball back. Fleetwood, nice pass out to Emily Scarrett. And Scarrett can't hold on, and a chance here for Scotland on the far side. It's Evie Tonkin into the 22. Well, Emily Scarrett's human after all, coming up with the error there. Don't know where he's good. Yeah, no, no, stay, stay, wait. Stay, thank you. But England have won it back on the floor. Good defensive riposte there from England, under a bit of pressure in their own red zone. And they'll look to carry it out of danger. There's Cleal. Back. Back. back to Thank Harrison. You. She decides to kick this time. Deliberately not into touch. Taken down by Sarah Law. Flings it across to Rolly. She's got support here from Rona Lloyd. Counter up coming in from Jess Breach, but Scotland hold on to it. Here's Skeldon. Conkle waits for her next carry. Thinks about shifting it on. Good hands from the tight head prop for Scythe to a fly half. Sarah Law. No hands, wait! What is available? Scotland here maintaining possession, but struggling to get too much go forward at the moment. Here's Emma Wassell, the second rower. Malcolm again. Tackle, please. Gang tackle from the two England second rowers, Aldcroft and Cleal. Good luck getting through those two. Fleetwood shooting out of the line. Can't quite make the tackle though on Helen Nelson. Conkle lends her weight stay, stay right. to make sure that Scotland maintain possession. Here's Skeldon again. So multi phase rugby here from Scotland, but. In terms of territory, they're going in the wrong direction. Stop, Sam! Decide to kick now. Thank you. Harrison has it. Scott. Emily Scott, dangerous ball runner, draws the player and puts Abby Dow into some space. And Abby Dow has a chance to stretch her legs. She's got support to her right if she needs it. She might not. Oh, Abby Dow, take a bow. A brilliant finish from the England Flyer. That is an amazing finish. She had so much work there to do. And uh, just great work from her. Pace, handoff, just had that had it all. Footwork. Try for England, try score so great England. high ball take and then the, the decision to move it. So it's that double pass, get across. So the first handoff, then she's transferring the ball across. She's always scanning for support. Second handoff, third handoff. Again, moving that ball, and then it's just uh, too much gas there for Nelson, and she just goes into the corner. But great finish from her. And it's the initial line, the shortening line off of Scott, uh, and their link play together as back three. But that's exactly what you want as a counter-attack. If you get kick two, you want to get all three of you back. You want to link, and you kind of... Um, and then, yeah, resulting in the, in the score. Emily Scarrett from out wide, unsuccessful with her previous attempt to convert the Abbey Dow try. Excellent kick from Emily Scarrett. Takes England out to 22 and well in control of this test match now.
I think the difference is when Scotland have the ball, they play so many phases and they just end up going backwards. And then England, they, you know, they get the ball. It's literally two passes. That's all it is. And the great line in from Dow, seeing it from that angle even better. And then she just heads out, backs herself. And it's that transfer of the ball like three times across so she can hand off, get the defenders away from her. Excellent finish. Miss Grant was maybe hoping she'd get the pass there from Abby Dow as she looks to score her 47th try in test matches to level right, with Nolly Water on the try scoring stakes for England. Abby Dow now with 12 in test match rugby. Here's Cleal. She's been impressive. Offloads to Sarah Beckett. So many big ball carrying options here for England. Harrison. Does well to hold on to that pass. It was a little in front stop of her. One, stop one. Low trajectory kick. Almost stays in field. No, it doesn't. It goes over the sideline. Was that touched by the Scotland player on the far side there? No, it wasn't. It will be a Scotland throw. But Emily Scarrett again showing her array of skills in these conditions. Exactly the right sort of kick in that situation. Yeah, and it takes the pressure off your 10. Uh, you've got, you know, you've got a young Five, move by half. One. Actually, you can thank move you. it out to likes of Emily Scarrett, uh, who can put a kick in like that, take the pressure off, give it back to Scotland, and they know they can put the pressure on in the defence. I um, mean, in, in that back line as well, I mean, you've got Amber Reed, she can also um, do the kick in as well. So, uh. And again, the line-out malfunctions for Scotland. Sarah Byrne onto it. Here's Sarah Hunter, her captain to Sarah Beckett. Vicky Fleetwood. Those glowing fluorescent boots of hers trying to step through the Scotland line. There's Zoe Harrison out the back to Reed. Pass to Emily Scott. Jess Breach, a lovely little in and away, but well tackled that time from Chloe Rolly. Inside the final few seconds of this first half here. Three tries to the gooder England. Looking for the bonus point score before the break. Harrison again to Hunter. Inside ball to Jess Breach. Wingers looking for work here for England. Perhaps taking a note from Abby Dow here and looking for the pass in midfield. That loose pass there from Harrison just checks England's progress for a moment. Here's Aldcroft once more. Clock's in the red. This is the final play of the first half. Advantage England. And they do get the penalty. I think they were unlucky Just earlier there not to get the um, holding on penalty. I think Chloe Rowley um, had made the tackle. She'd got back onto her feet. Uh, she was trying to steal that ball Number and two. actually possibly slightly unlucky there uh, not to get the call go her way. <coughs> Choosing to go for the line out practice and uh, obviously gave a penalty away uh, when they were in this area last time. So they'll need to um, talk about that, make sure the referee's happy with what they're doing or they start the drive and then they move it out to the backs like they did in the, um, right at the beginning. So Zoe Harrison there in conversation with Amber Reed. Passes the message on to Emily Scarrett. Let's see what the Red Rose have got cooking here. First job though is the line out and they win it well through Cleal. Mark Davis has the ball at the back of this driving ball. Just pops her head up and they spin it around the short side still heading towards the scotland try line but not for the first time same call putting themselves offside scotland did really well defending that initially as well because you'd assume from that position england normally get a dominant drive they start pushing it back and it's very difficult but actually it was pretty static uh, for a while there so good line out Finds yeah, yeah, the space, yeah. but then Scotland straight in there, nice and low with the body positions. Ref's absolutely fine with this part, and it's just when they spin off, I think it's looking at what happens oh, then. So Scotland survive for the moment. England just the three tries in the first half. There's one of them, one of the try scorers, Sarah Burnt, Abby Dow, and Jess Breach. The other two for England. They haven't been perfect, but they are dominant here, the Red Roses, at Murrayfield. And they will go into the sheds with a healthy lead here at halftime. England leading Scotland here by 22 points to nil.
Welcome back to Murrayfield. Sarah Hunter leading out the Red Roses. Please make some noise for you. Back Dick. onto the field of play here. As it's fair to say conditions have deteriorated somewhat during the halftime break. The snow and the sleet and the gusty wind. It's it's got worse, if anything, Cat Merchant, and it's going to be tough for these players in the second half. Yeah, we've already seen a few um, uncharacteristic um, errors made, so this is only going to make matters worse. So they just have to compose themselves and really focus on what they're doing. But yeah, very tough conditions out there for them. Yeah, the pictures tell the story. Jess Breach, try scorer in the first half, trying to keep warm as best she can. These wingers, they've, they've got to go looking for work to try and up the body temperature in this one. It is tough out there and it's been tough for Scotland. Trailing England, 22 nil after 40 minutes played. Three tries to England in the first half. And we're back underway, Scotland course all in dark blue running right to left in the second half Jade Conkle perhaps wisely lets that one bounce we saw quite a few errors from the high kicks a bit like the Calcutta Cup match here on Saturday difficult conditions here for the players high error count in the first half some of the line outs almost impossible to execute cleanly so players have got to be really spot on and focused and play low risk rugby in these difficult conditions there's Rachel Malcolm doing well the Scotland captain to hold on to possession there Hughes. McDonald kicks from the base Harrison takes that one above her head here's Emily Scott the fullback runs into the tackle of Rachel McLaughlin Sarah Byrne try scorer in the first half such a threat with the ball in hand quick ball for hunt back to harrison kicks again and abby dow's on the chase and this one's going to stay in field and abby dow might be in business here but it just evades the england winner but here comes sarah beckett hacking it forward and now poppy Creel. but she was just in front of the kicker sarah beckett as she toted her head in front of the kicker that was danger signs again for scotland that was, and it just shows how quickly England can turn it around, I think, from anything. There's just, you know, a lovely kick, um, bounces up, and if that goes, you know, to Abby Dow, that's a try, definitely, so she was really showing her gas there, but then, uh, yeah, just slightly in front of Beckett, doing the hack, as you call it, on the floor, and, uh, yeah, penalty against. It's one of those days, isn't it, where the, the toe ahead is a, is a good option. Just because it's so difficult to field and to, to even kick it out to do anything. So actually, yeah, you're putting the pressure on to the other team. Let's another look at it. Sarah Beckett saw Poppy Cleal in field there just in front. That's a bit harsh, I think, actually, because it, from that angle, didn't look like she was in front. Had to reprieve for Scotland on that occasion. Poppy Cleal won't be happy. She's going to have a try scoring yeah. chance there. She <laughs> loves scoring tries. Yeah, she'll be mad at that. Line out again, malfunctions. Sarah Byrne up towards the 22. Sarah Hunter, quick pass to Fleetwood. Gets the handoff going and still going. Vicky Fleetwood, really good run from the open side. England looking for their bonus point try here. Abby Dow's got all the way over to the far side. And it's Emily Scott who will dive over for England. And that is the bonus point try. And again, uh, important to highlight in these conditions to be able to get it from one side of the pitch to the other. Some really good um, phases of play put together and finished off by Scott there. But just nice and relaxed, calm hands to move it. So um, <laughs> starts here with, and this is a really key one from Hunter to pop it on across a tip on and then Fleeto here absolutely like just puts exactly. on the gas she's got so much power and acceleration and then just simple hands back in behind Scarrett not phased and then a dummy and go for the try there and that dummy's uh, important as well to like really fix and hold those um, defense makes a move and then just steps back inside it makes it look easy Emily Scarrett doesn't she just that quick catch and release but under pressure from the defender and in these kind of conditions it's harder than it looks 
Oh, definitely. Someone just flying up at you and you just being able to get that pass away. Like you say, it's hard enough, let alone with snow in your face and knowing that if you don't get it away, you, you know, you're giving away a try there. And here is Emily Scarrett kicking into a blizzard here at Murrayfield. But she makes excellent contact. But it will uh, just fall a little bit short. Um, you can see the players now, they're like holding on to their, um, their hands under their armpits, just, just trying to keep themselves warm. And uh, yeah, no one's looking particularly happy. But yeah, good hands in there. Zoe Harrison nice and relaxed. Dow working in from the opposite side to make that extra uh, attacker, which is why they end up having the overlap by working those wingers. Like you said, get warm, <laughs> get yourself in the line, actually create an extra uh, attack. Back underway, 27 nil. Red Roses lead Scotland, Sarah Beckett. Can't hold on to the restart, but cleverly she had a went back to the opposition, so went backwards and go ahead that time from Sarah Byrne. No, she dropped it. It's advantage Scotland will go back for the scrum from Sarah Byrne and chip that through, but she just lost the handle. I was going to say, okay, so we've got a line breaking tight head prop, fair enough, but is she, you know, <laughs> going to grubber it through once she's gone there through the line? But no, knock on there, so Scotland get the ball back. Subs. Change for Scotland. It's Rachel McLaughlin who heads to the sideline. We saw her pick up that, that injury to a thigh early in the match. He's battled through 45 minutes Crouch. she's been replaced Five. by Cadigan for Scotland she's taking her place on the side of the scrum Thank you. a good platform there for Scotland can they make something of it here really tough conditions here Murray Field Coulterang is good no no thank you turnover for England Scarrett kicks inside around 22 down the throat though of Helen Nelson so those are options and white wall of defense good kick chase from England no thank you shooting out of the line was Fleetwood wisely holding on Murray McDonald into contact there they'll set up another breakdown Scotland showed in the first half they can go through the phases they can maintain possession but it's about getting the go forward with it yeah they need to get some more go forward carries because they're just tiring themselves out I mean the amount of phases that they're putting together and then unfortunately yeah they just kick it away and then England will create something out of nothing Zoe Harrison well positioned in the fly half makes some good yards offloads to Vicky Cornbra Sarah Byrne again can't get through the line on that occasion. Thank you. Good tackle from Jay Conkle. Harrison stop will kick. Stop two, stop two, stop. Thank you. That'll be Dow again on the chase. Rolly though, we'll just watch this one dribble over the try line. We'll go back for the 22. Yeah, it's just a bit too much on that one. I see what she's trying to do there because there is a little bit of space on there, but um, as soon as it rolls that far over, then obviously it's 22 uh, back, but lovely. Um, balanced line break there just that little bit of the we talked about the skills that look easy but they're actually not and that's one of them to hold a defender get them off balance and then drive back off um, really good skill set kick's gone straight back to England so unforced error there from Scotland Natasha Hunt to Jess Breach already with a try in this match does well to hold on to the pass the captain Hunter puts her hand up again she'll Keep carrying all day long, Sarah Hunter. And they work the same way. Cleal finds the offload to Zoe Aldcroft, the rangy second row with a bit of green space in front of her. Here's Sarah Byrne again. This is good stuff from the Red Roses. Looking for their fifth try here. Hunter out to Harrison, cross kicks on. Abby Dow on the chase, it bounces and Dow's onto it, flicks it back and Emily Scott following up for England. And she may have her second score here. Again, creating something out of nothing there. Fantastic work. And um, we spoke about it in the first half, said that Dow likes to stand quite flat uh, in order to, that the crossfield kick is an option. Yes, Clara. On the decision is try. Can you uh, catch the grounding? Can you check the grounding for us? 
Okay. On field Thank decision you. try. On field decision is try. Check yes. the grounding. So we're just checking the grounding here from where we were sat. That didn't look too bad. So, Emily Scott might be celebrating another score here. Knock on in the process yeah, before, exactly. then the grounding. Yes. Fine. Fine, absolutely. are staring at waiting for the uh, decision to come England think they've scored they're already back on their side of half we are going to have a look yeah, at the touch the ball before tell me when you see on the screen thank you so looking at the decision here she goes up excellent work taps yeah. it back that's definitely I think yes. come back off of Dow there and then bounce and that's okay. downward pressure that's a try okay Clara for me there is no clear yeah, dangerous knock isn't it? The first letting player, the ball bounce. White, is pushing the ball that back. Kind of position. And in these kind of conditions. Rounding is clear. Perfect. Yeah, very difficult. So you never know where it's going to go. But yeah, so on field decision, try then. So that stands, group work. And it's that support play. And I think Dow does really well. Aerial skills gets up to knock it back. But Scott's kind of just been everywhere, I think. She just appears out wide, gets those offloads, finishing in the corner. Like, great work. Emily Scott should be looking for a hat trick here. Maybe she gets three. She'll get. She'll get some time on the bench and she can go and get warm. She looks absolutely freezing. Well, she's so slight, isn't she, as a player as well? So there's not much body fat there to keep her warm. Um, so, yeah, but that's why, maybe that's why she's running around <laughs> so much. Yeah, she wants to learn to living on the seven circuit that Emily Scott, like several of these Red Roses backs, used to playing in very warm conditions on the World Rugby Seven Series. Or you could be in Scotland <laughs> in a blizzard. <laughs> any better this weather that is for sure Emily Scarrett, so professional so composed and nails Scotland. another two Scotland for the two. red roses that's a good kick in this i know we're talking about you can just see the wind is now swirling the snow around so to get over there is brilliant so lovely nudge there from harrison really nicely weighted and then uh, yeah abby dowd as well to tap it back and then yeah scott's there just to get get the second try and pounce on that ball and all you just need is that little bit of downward pressure in there to make sure it counts okay. scotland just playing a bit narrow in defense there perhaps a, a, bit, a bit guilty of giving too much space for abidale to run onto that yeah i think they're worried about the you know the likes of the cleals the burns the beckets uh, so they're going in tighter and they're just leaving that um, too much space out wide speaking of the beckets the carry from Sarah Beckett, replacement for England, Amy Kikane's out there for Lark Davis and Hooker and Sarah for England. Looking for another try here, Harrison to Scarrett. She's got Poppy Cleal to her left. Finds the offload. Molly Wright has also come on for Scotland. Poppy Cleal. Harrison kicks a cross field again for Abby Dow. Chasing it again. That one will just uh, beat them all over the sideline. But you can see the plan here from England. I think there's uh, rewards to be reaped with a cross kick. Well, I think if you've, you know, you've done it before and it's worked and then the Scotland defence hasn't changed to adapt to it, then why not give it another go? Um, so I think important uh, to, to keep doing that and it's good confidence from the likes of Dow, a young winger, to be waving her hand up to, uh, to indicate to Harrison that it is on over the top. So Hannah Bottomans also out there for England. There's Amy Kane in shot. She's come on at hooker for Lark Davis. There is Bottomman in the 17 shirt. What a break from Burn though, wasn't that? So good. We were talking about that beforehand. Like so I know she loves scoring tries, but she's not happy with those meter ones. She wants to do the line breaks. That's what she lives for. Yeah. Sold sold the dummy world, didn't she? I think if Sarah Burns running at you at that kind of pace. I don't think she's passing the ball in that situation. <laughs> you know, you've, got to, you've got to imagine she's holding on. Yeah, she's probably not going to pass that ball. That's one of those get low and just hope yeah, you. <laughs> you can tackle her, get your body in the way. So Molly Wright, replacement hooker for Scotland with a defensive line-out throw here. They've had some problems. 
in this part of the game of Scotland. They'll go short to the front, and Sarah Hunter Leon. leaps high and wins it for England. And here's Sarah Byrne. Forward. 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 But a reprieve for Scotland, forward pass forward. call. It's the reaction of England off of any kind of mistakes there. So it's completely right, I think, Scotland to shorten it up. These conditions, they've had some problems. They just want to go safe. Problem with going safe, though, is it's obviously then uh, more readable. Um, so England go up as well. But Natasha Hunt reacts really nicely. And then, yeah, it's just slightly uh, forward there. Always made look to look worse when you actually get tackled after you make the pass, uh, which I think highlighted it uh, in there for the referee. Crouch. Murrayfield has turned into a snow cone here. Scotland scrum holds firm for now. And again, Jade Conkle, as she's had to do so many times in this match, picks the ball up from the base and sets up a breakdown. Well, they've got lots of hard work to do here. For Scythe, tight head there with a the carry. The big units up front having to work very hard for Scotland. Kick from the base. Emily Scott has read it well, but there's a good tackle coming in on the England fullback. England have it though. Harrison decides to chip through. Rolly just has a little look at the onrushing England players and picks it up and heads off into the tackle of Emily Scarrett. So deep in their red zone once more, Scotland. Here's Emma Wassell. No heads. Thank you. Conkle, such an effective ball carrier Seven. up towards the 22. Use. Kick from the base again from McDonald. Harrison to Breach. Jess Breach, he likes that in and away, offloads back to a fly half. And a good tackle on the far side from Scotland, putting Harrison over the sideline. Great carry from Conkle in there. It just makes your exit so much easier when you've got somebody that can get you that much go forward. Uh, Jess Breach here transfers across, gets the offload in, and um, Harrison kind of bundled uh, in towards touch there. Serious? Or oh, nothing serious? Oh. If, you, if you use the Sean Fitzpatrick test of how many players from either side would make a combined 15, you've got to say that Jade Conkle would be would be one of those players for yeah, Scotland definitely she's just just so strong and I think you know th those carries are just absolutely critical when you've got Scotland who are camped in their 22 struggling to get out in this uh, breeze as well so um, for her to put in you know 10 15 meter carry makes it so much easier and a box kick uh, to then happen Line out. Called not straight. So that's another give back for England. Yeah, so went to the front to start with. Obviously, it didn't work. So I think they were, they were trying to mix it up, go more towards the back. But obviously, again, more high risk if you do that. Crouch! It's tough, isn't it? Because Sarah Hunter at the front of that line out for England. She's just competing for everything. Making life very difficult for Scotland. So another attacking opportunity for the Red Roses. Here is Hunter. Breach has come off a left wing. Good quick ball for Hunt. Aldcroft. Carry from the second rower. They'll go the same way. Kakane shifts it along to Sarah Byrne. Good momentum again for England. Harrison. Scarrett just holds on to that one. Just commits a couple of defenders. Sarah Hunter again. Here's Sarah Beckett. She does take some stopping, but a good effort from Rachel Malcolm to bring her to the floor. Cleal. England just showing some patience here, going through the phases, not forcing it. They pick and go through the captain Hunter. Beckett now. 
chance of an overlap here on the near side if they can shift it over the top to Harrison to Emily Scott looking for a hat trick gives it off to Abby Dow and Abby Dow has her second try of the day yeah right decision from Scott there there might be a hat trick in mind but if she doesn't give that pass and doesn't score uh, she's gonna be in trouble so uh, great execution uh, to, um, and too many teams, I think, when you get that close to the try line, just keep going with the pick and go, pick and go. But actually, they've tied enough players in and then good hands to get it out. Not the easiest of passes in there for Scott to gather, a little bit low, uh, but she manages uh, in there. Have the ball, picks it back up, and then, yeah, just holds enough to interest the defence just from drifting too quickly. And then Dow finishing well. Spoken like a true right winger. <laughs> Cat, if, you, if your fullback doesn't give you the ball there and it doesn't work out. Oh, I'd be stropping. I'd be seriously stropping. <laughs> you There's hot water coming out of the, uh, the drinks container there, is it? Keeping the hands warm. Bit of innovation from the Red Roses. Oh, I like that. <laughs> Can we get that up here? <laughs> Cup of tea. Yeah, great. So Emily Scott looking to take England through 40 points. And that one will just pull short and left. Unsuccessful. The changes for England. Zoe Harrison's day is done. Katie Daly McLean is out there for England. And Vicky Fleetwood gets a rest as well. And it's Harriet Miller Mills who replace her. So just looking over that try again, and then yeah, Zoe Harrison just pulled slightly off Three, the pass, four, but they managed to seven, get it. It's not pretty, but ten and nine. What they, they just make it work. What's happening? So then, good, good hands um, and difficult, and then Three, to get the finish. Four, seven, ten, and nine. Poppy Cleels also hit it to the sideline. Shauna Brown is out there in number 18, and Natasha Hunt has been replaced by Claudia mcdonald good to see claudia mcdonald back in an england shirt but a big shift from poppy cleal wasn't it and it's amelia harper thank you it's her second cap for the red roses after making a debut last week poppy Cleal's offloading today i thought was next level i think you know we're so used to her being a big carrier but then actually getting those offloads away uh, really important and a bottom and bounces off for sight that was uh, physical stuff from the England front rower, here's Daly McLean. What a player to be able to bring on. Inside ball from Daly McLean to Abby Dow. So Dow and Scott both on hat tricks here. Looking for their third scores. Ball's been held up well by Scotland. Ball created, so if they can get this to the floor, they'll get the scrum decision, but still moving forward. They do get the scrub, so well done to the, uh, the Scotland forwards there. Yeah, successful and shows really good um, team decision making in there as well. They're probably shouting in there, hold it up, hold it up, because they know just that they'll end up getting back uh, the ball in the form of a scrum. Number Natasha Hunt leading the field place scrum again, balls out, McDonald's onto it. And she's got support with her. Nice pass to Abby Dow. Abby Dow sees a half gap and heads for the try line. And Miller Mills just holds on to the ball there. The hands might be a little cold having been on the bench for this game. Chip and go there from McDonald. Dalian McLean gets away from one tackle. Shauna Brown to Bottoman. Cocaine, long pass out to Scarrett and she also flings it out to Jess Breach. And Jess Breach has her second score for England. And all the back three are looking for three tries here. 
yeah, race for who can get the hat yeah, trick, yeah. I think. Um, okay, okay. So good hands uh, again into there. So we didn't think necessarily that the wingers would get a lot of um, ball, but actually they're getting it wide quite often. Um, so they're showing that they can do it against the conditions in there. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. How about the ball from Amy Kakane to Emily Scarrett, the hooker, showing great hands. I once saw Amy Kakane actually play in, a, in an Army Navy game at fly half. Yeah, um, she can put in, she's got a good kick as well, a great oh, nudge. So here's Emily Scarrett, she's Hot fixed uh, the, uh, Lloyd in there <laughs> and then does enough to get that ball across, like lovely long pass, good whip from um, Breach as well, because if she's too tight in there, Lloyd might have a chance to get across to get her, but no, she holds her width really well and Scarrett just spots her and puts um, the ball exactly where she wants it. More kicking practice for Emily Scarrett. Wait, just a moment. Just a moment, please. Time off here from the referee. Yeah, I'm wondering if there's a hint of a forward pass. It did look forward. Yes, this pass from Scarrett to yeah. Breach is the one in That's question. That's the one I'd wonder about. Tell me when you are on the screen, Clara. sure the players will be Stefano? that grateful yep. for the delay in play here it's <laughs> here in Edinburgh so this one's obviously fine then it's just Garrett of where she is to kind of see where uh, so her hands leave and it does look forward <laughs> live it looks forward but then looking at that breaches behind her so can you see so that no, uh, can you it's a tough angle too isn't it Would from that camera screen? position sorry this might okay. give us a better idea okay it's a, it's a forward pass. It's more about so where we have to come back to the so if offside. They're looking like yeah, it's going correct. forward. Okay. Yeah, forward pass. In, li in live play, it did look a little bit like that. We were playing. So a good Captain. spot to come in um, we were to, to feed an that. Advantage. So, yeah, we, we were playing an advantage, so we need to come back to the no offside. Okay. So it's a penalty to England, to England anyway. Yeah, they're they're playing advantage. Right. Yeah, they Daniel are, McLean yeah. wants to get things moving again. The referee just explaining to Rachel Malcolm what the Offside decision is all about. Yeah, well, just, just a moment, just a moment. Thank you, sorry. Fair enough. Please, Andre. Thank you. Thank Casey you. Daniel McLean's been okay. so much energy and pace, doesn't she? Like sprinting over there to like get potentially do the quick tap, and you never know, she might do it. So McDonald did a bit of a strange tap. I was a bit unaware of what that was. I don't know if it was supposed to be a chip 14, or whether... 14, I didn't hear the whistle blow, so... No, yeah. so I wasn't sure. So Abby Dow heads to the sideline. She won't be getting a hat-trick today. She's been replaced by Sarah McKenna. For the Chiefs, England, leaving the field number 23 shirt. Sarah McKenna at the Saracens Club, of course. Strange not to see her starting for the Red Roses. She's had a mortgage on that number 15 shirt in recent times for England. And here come the Red Roses looking for another score. The forwards all power. Heading towards the try line. Bottomans involved. Harriet Miller Mills as well. They're over the line, but it's held up. Held up. Good defence in there. Getting you've just got to get bodies underneath it once that pack gets um, rolling forward. Okay, really nice okay. to see Miller Mills back. Okay, okay, I mean she has such an unlucky run with injuries over the knee. So really nice uh, to see her back on the pitch. Yeah, 22 months of rugby. She missed, I think, with that with that injury. She played in the World Cup final 2017 and then returned to the Red Roses in France last week. It's great to see her back. Yeah, key player has been missed Grant. and I think um, yeah, she just adds. Bind. She has apologies if you might have picked up a Set. Of language there on the referee's Bind. microphone. Bind. England looking for the scrum drive here. Hunter has it under control at the back. They're edging closer. Scotland under real pressure again. Hunter, she's almost there. She picks it up and flops over and that was far too easy for England. Well initially I thought they were actually going to pass the ball out because it looked like the scrum was pretty stable but that just shows the strength uh, of that pack to be able to dip and drive and get a secondary drive from it because it was still initially but then to get it going actually McDonald's looking thinking shall I pass this out and then actually yeah 
the Sunter's not going to let that go. <laughs> not when the scrum's going forward like that. So really good control with her feet as well. Picks it up, control of it the whole time, and then um, puts it over the line for the try. Sarah Hunter. 28 test tries for her. 121 test matches. Just an extraordinary career she's had. Scarrett, of course, has scored that decisive try in the 2014 World Cup final. Adds another two here for England. Approaching 50. Yeah, Sarah Hunter just works harder than I think any other player I've ever come across. She just, you know, is just so committed to it. And uh, just, yeah, works, works, works. Always carrying, always in those breakdowns, doing the... Um, the not so pretty stuff as well, she gets stuck in and uh, a really good finish in there to control that. A try that suited the conditions here at <laughs> no, Murrayfield. So. Snow continues to fall, not settling, thankfully. The players will be grateful for that. This is Casey Daly McLean. Kicks up towards the halfway line. That's an excellent kick, isn't it? Perfectly weighted, I think, to get out exactly where she wanted. Thank you. I mentioned some of the, uh, five, five. Some of the family and friends have been able to sneak in here to have a look at this this match. It is officially behind closed doors, but I had a chat to Emily Scarrett's dad in the team hotel yesterday. He's, Play advantage. Not. he's had to ask Emily's brother to look after the family farm while he's away today. Hold the fort. <laughs> Seven line-out losses for Scotland. That's been a real issue for them. Bailey McLean again just plugs the sideline, and look at that. She's got it on a string as ever. And then, obviously, you can play with a lot more freedom. You can play with territory when you know that they're losing seven line-outs. So then you can kick it across because you're hoping that 50-50, you're going to uh, try and get it back. Numbers, ladies, please, numbers. Six. We are inside. So let's see if they can... Hold on to possession here at the line out. Look at that for action areas. England have just been camped in Scotland territory for the majority of this match. Dominated possession as Aldcroft leaps at the front of the line out there. Just goes forward though, so Scotland have possession. So difficult, isn't it, for Scotland at line out time now because they can only really throw to the front in these conditions seemingly in England and just picking them off at will McKenna steps past a couple of defenders Tonkin was one of them here's Daly McLean flat pass to Sarah Beckett oh too flat went forward says the referee we are exactly in line with that cat where we are sitting yeah Let's have a look and see what it is from this angle in here. Scotland? No. Yeah, no, a little bit. A little bit, as you said it. Beautiful flat pass. Case Daly McLean, though, does love to play flat. And um, it, it does catch teams off. Beckett possibly overrunning a run there, just arriving slightly too early. So difficult for the players out there. It's been a difficult weekend, of course, for them. They woke up on Sunday morning in Glasgow at the team hotel. It was a 10 past 12 scheduled kickoff. They didn't find out till half past 10 in the morning, but the game was postponed. They'd already started their pre-match routines. The players were getting strapped. Katie Dana McLean even told me she already had a, a lucky underpants on, <laughs> ready to go. Yeah. Oh no, that's a quick um, go, go to the laundrette, come back <laughs> today. Exactly. Yeah. Here they are having to travel down this morning. And you've got to say, conditions here today are no better than they were in Glasgow yesterday. But they've done a great job to reschedule this game and get it, get it on the field, get it broadcast. But it really is trying stuff for the players out there. Backward, backward. The ball's gone backwards, so Scotland can play on here. 
carrying out of contact. You can hear the energy. That was Hunter, the captain, with another tackle. The Red Roses players shouting at each other, encouraging each other to get off the line and make a tackle. Chip over the top. Scarrett has it. Shauna Brown went into help, and here does go Brown. She started at tight head against France last week. Bottom it. She does enjoy a carry as well. Daly McLean out the back to Amber Reed. She can't hold on to it, so can Scotland counter? Scrum advantage. They decide to kick. Naira McDonald. Nice one, dribbles past Emily Scott. Decides to hold on. She had Sarah McKenna with her. That's a good chase and tackle from Rona Lloyd. Miller Mills keeps it alive to breach, but that one's gone over the sidelines. We approach the final 10 minutes, and as you can see, some of this snow now is starting to settle. I think the confidence is good to want to be playing it. Um, out of your 22 you. but sometimes that's when you do kind of just need to settle it down especially when you haven't been in there um too long and actually let's get a carry let's get an exit strategy rather than trying to uh, move it too wide and then force errors the size today is done the zombie will replace her there she is in the uh in the scrum cap, take her place on the tight head side. Tough time to come on, isn't it, in the scrum? Been watching for 70 minutes, bottom and will be sizing up this scrum opportunity here. And there's the flat back of bottom and the drive, and under all sorts of pressure again, a Scotland looking for the turnover. McDonald involved in the tackle. Amelia Harper. Getting stuck in as well. Louise McMillan. Holds on to the ball for Scotland. That's a high, slightly wobbly kick, but it might work out for Scotland this year. Latching onto is Evie Tonkin. Not many options on the short side. They kick again. It's Nelson. That's cleverly done from Emily Scott, but we'll go back to the... Yeah, interesting they decided to go blind, because actually I was just looking at it thinking that England had too many numbers on the blind. They had four against two. Um, so that's why they really need to be looking up, scanning and going, oh, there's actually only two versus four uh, in the wrong way. So you, you, surely their space is open. Big year for Scotland, isn't it? They'll be going to the Rugby Europe events in September. Perfect. To face Ireland and Italy for an automatic place in the Rugby World Cup next year. If they don't finish first in that competition, finish second, they'll then have one more chance at a final global repercharge event for the last remaining spot at the Rugby World Cup. So it's all about a World Cup pathway 2020 for the Scotland women. Days like today, it's tough to, it's tough to see them getting much out of this in terms of any points, but they'll be... Uh, They'll be hoping they can put together some phases and have something to work on going forward. They got the penalty here. And they tap and go. Next. Amber Reed with the tackle just gets underneath the pass there. Shauna Brown, a good tackle from her too, right round the ankles. Mitchell Malcolm, the captain, still working for a team. Nelson. Line speed again from England. It was Sarah Beckett. No hands, slow right. getting up in back place. Sarah Beckett, but she takes her place in the line again. Good opportunity this for Scotland. Can they make something of it? Rolly. And the Reed yep. all over her trying to win the steal. Two players down in back plate. They're going to clash of heads. Nearly half is one of them. Here's the replacement player, Mazumbi. Yeah, the referee's called time off here. There's two players are getting yeah, attention yeah, 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 right absolutely. in the middle of the field. Yeah, referee's got to do that for safety. As soon as the play goes anywhere near an injured player on the floor, got to stop it. Stefano. Torna era uno scontro di gioco. Ah. 
Week off, of course, Six Nations next week before round three. England up against Ireland. No worries, thank you. Castle Park and Doncaster, that fixture. <laughs> thank you. They'll be hoping for slightly better weather um, for that Ireland game than this. This is really flooding down now. It's been absolute chaos. Not sure an ice pack is what you want in these kind of conditions. Yeah, yeah. she's probably all right, actually. <laughs> no risk clash of heads here. No risk taken. Arthur's getting a bit of strapping. She looks like she's going to continue. So there will be a replacement for Scotland. So Skeldon's gone back out there. It's Molly Wright. Yeah, yeah. He's already out there, the replacement hooker. So Skeldon might have to play slightly out of position here. Louise Millen has gone off for the HIA. Scotland with a, an attacking scrum here in the England 22 as the snow comes down here at Murrayfield looking for their first points of the match but the power again comes on from England and yet again it's Conkle under all sorts of pressure who has to pick it up but as she so often does she somehow finds some go forward but then there's the knock on Conkle looks tired there as well. She's done a lot. She said took a knee uh, in there. I don't know if she's took a knock, but she's done a lot of work today. She's done so many carries. So we have another stoppage in play here. Conkle gets some attention. She has put a shift in, hasn't she? <laughs> Look at them huddling together. <laughs> Skaz has got the hands in the shorts. Jess Breach is shivering, literally. And the looks like she might cry. <laughs> she looks like she'd rather be anywhere else but out there in the middle of Murrayfield here. That's hot water they've got there. Scott Beeman, the uh, attack coach there, he's, he's out there giving some message messages. <laughs> Just in this break of play here, Kat, got some impressive performances from the Red Roses today. Uh, you got your eye on a player of the match? Yeah, definitely. I mean, there's been um, loads of line breaks and things like that. But <coughs> always, they've played really well. But one player, I think, who is key and instrumental to uh, getting that ball wide uh, is Emily Scott. I just think fantastic player. Um, scored some great tries. There she is in the shot there. Um, scored some great tries, got some assists. Uh, I just think she's a really creative player. Good footwork as well. And, uh, yeah, great game, I thought, today in very tough conditions. Yeah, it's all about taking your opportunity, isn't it? She doesn't often get the start in some of the more high-profile test matches for the Red Roses, but she has well and truly taken her chance at fullback today for England. I think you'd rather be a forward in this, these kind of conditions, wouldn't you? At least you can hang together and keep warm. That's true, but I don't know. I'd still rather just freeze on the wing than get in there. <laughs> never a forward. Never, never. <laughs> There, the boots of Sarah Hunter just dribbling this ball upfield for England. 
And still moving. Scotland have to do something here to try and stop this. I think Katie Daly McLean might want the ball here so they can do something with it besides the kick. Stop, scrum, stop. Thank you. Scott okay. and McKenna on the chase. How's that for a kick, though? Playing on quickly is Rolly, but she throws the ball to herself and it's danger signs again. And chipping it ahead is McDonald. And she's onto it. Scotland self destruct at the back. And England have another. I think when you're under so much pressure, you just try and create anything. And I think she tried to take the quick line out, which is, you know, brave call. Initially goes well, and then it goes to floor. And then it's just the reactions, the speed that England have reacted to mistakes today oh, far it? quicker okay, well, and yeah, more yeah, positively. Yeah, so to get um, Claudia McDonald to get to that nice and quickly reacts we'll just so back. well. Yeah, and uh, yeah, gets gets the extra. So Thank Emily Scarrett here is on 537 points in Test Rugby. So she is equal with Katie Daly-McLean. So she has a chance here to become the all-time leading point scorer for England. Take her time as ever, go through the routine. Makes good contact, puts it right through, and Emily Scarrett overtakes Katie Daly McLean. She is a points machine, the World Rugby Player of the Year. No celebrating, takes it all in her stride, just runs back. She just does her job and she does it so well. You know what, knowing, knowing Emily, she probably doesn't even know that she's about to break that record for England. You know, she's she's all about team. She's not someone who looks at her own personal stats. She'll probably come off your tele, you know, you're just overtaking Katie. She'll say, really, have I? I think she didn't actually know when she broke the 500 mark. I think she actually genuinely didn't know. So, yeah, not uh, not surprising. And England up to 53. Amelia Harper. Ladies and Can't gentlemen, quite hold on to the ball. The SP Energy Network's player of the match is England number 15, Emily Scott. Time's off. So your final thoughts, Kat? Firstly, from a Scotland point of view, what do you think they'll take out of this game? Um, I think they, they've definitely done some improvements in game management, things like that. They've had moments where they've kind of panicked, but I think the main thing is kind of exit strategy. They've got to get someone else other than Conkle to do all that hard work and to make the ground. So they've got to get those ball carriers, make it easier. But I, I think they can take confidence. They've tackled the big players, uh, such as Burn Beckett. They dealt with those. Uh, and then just England are a very good team that can obviously once Scotland have tightened up to those threats, they can launch it wide, and it's just so difficult to defend those types of tries. And England will go two from two. The defence of their Six Nations Grand Slam looking pretty solid right now. A big, big away win against France last week. And they weren't having any of it. Every pundit you talk to will say, win that. And you pretty much, you can give them the trophy now, but they stay focused. Keep the eye on the prize, one game at a time. All the cliches, but they count on days like this. All the disruption ahead of this match, and they've come here and they've looked impressive. Yeah, I think England have really shown their yeah, class. Yeah, yeah. They've shown how world class they are. They turn up under these conditions. They still score fantastic tries. They have a mixture of um, tricks up their sleeve as well. Uh, people playing in different positions. Um, so I think they're in a very good place. Into the final minute here at Murrayfield in a blizzard in Edinburgh. Set. And it's been a, a storm that's come Scotland's way throughout this match. It's Conkle. She's been a, a standout for them as ever with a carry there and keep working hard right to the full 80 try and get something out of this game Nelson now 
done quite a bit of kicking in this game, decides to hold on on that occasion. <coughs> Looking for the steal is Shauna Brown. Good line speed again from England. Amy Kakane that time making the tackle. And England win a penalty as if to put a big fat punctuation mark on this yeah, game. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Winning the ball at the breakdown just to complete this performance. Katie Daly McLean thinks it over the sideline. And that will be that.